Hi, I'm Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Daily Devotion 191. Today's meditation is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. One of the greatest hindrances to our faith is fear. We call out to him, we ask for his help, but most of all what we really need is his presence. Because we may ask that we could avoid or get away from the thing we fear, but what we really need is his presence and power to take us through to face and to overcome the things we fear. God has that kind of power in our life. He's like a good father who is with us. I don't know what you have feared in your life, when you were young, you feared a lot of things that you might have been scared of going to get a shot from the doctor and you never had a shot before, you're very young and it looks scary to have a needle stuck in your arm. But if your good father is with you holding your hand and saying, I'm right here, I won't leave you, that can help you face that. But now no matter what age you are, what stage of life you're in, there's always the next thing that is fearful. There is the next thing that you have to face, you've never been there before, you don't know what the outcome is, and we still need our Father God. Right up to our very last day when we're dying and we have no more life left and we're facing the end, we still need Father God to hold our hand and to take us through. I have faced uh, that as an adult in raising my children and trying to provide economically for my family I have faced it with uh, a cancer threat to my wife. I have faced it over and over, and I will face it again as I pray and intercede for my grandchildren. As we move forward in life, you will always need God to hold your hand to deliver you from your fears, not your situation, but from your fears. For they hinder your faith, and by faith in God, we can conquer all things. I truly believe that. I've known that in my life, and I want you to encourage to have that as your prayer today. Our prayer is this, Father, I'm so glad that you are with me no matter what circumstances I encounter. Thank you for holding my hand, for encouraging me, and never leaving. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us continue to pray. Lord, probably one of the greatest promises you ever made to us was that you would never leave us nor abandon us, that you are faithful even beyond the grave itself, that there is no place we could go, <clears throat> nothing we could do where you could not reach us and deliver us and bring us through the very scary things of life. Lord, as we grow and mature and learn to trust you, we pray, Lord, <clears throat> we will remember all that you have done and all that you promised to do, and how great you are and how loving you are for us. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. God loves you so much, and I'm so glad you're part of Daily Devotions and you keep returning. I hope you're encouraged someone someone else to join us as well. If you take a moment right now as part of your journaling experience, leave a comment below and let us know what is God doing in your life today. It'd be encouragement to us and encouragement to others. And uh, we would really appreciate it. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, encouraging you, as always, to keep the faith and to share it too.